Today we're going to take a look at the Roland TD3 module. It's a very basic module. It's set up for a five-piece kit with two crash cymbals, riding hi-hats. The TD3 is a very limited module because you can't adjust the pitch of your drums. You're pretty much stuck with the factory drum kits. You can rearrange different instruments, but you can't change the pitch of them, which really kind of puts a damper if you're wanting to expand because you're going to have to go with a bigger module. So let's go ahead and take a look at the settings on this module and get you going. Okay, to get to the trigger settings, we're going to press and hold the level slash pan and the tempo button. It's going to take us to our pad type to start off with. All of your toms and your snare drum are going to be trigger type 125. Your cymbals are all going to be CY type. And your kick drum is going to be the KD type. Okay, next we're going to press edit to get to our sensitivity. Our snare is set at 6. So are all of our toms. Your bass drum is set at 6. Now, depending on how sensitive you want your bass, you can vary it anywhere from 4 to 9. Uh, also, if you're using like the K3, you'll want to increase that to about a 9. Okay, next is our hi hat. Sensitivity is at 7. Crash symbol is at 7. Our ride symbol is also at 7. Okay, press edit. Now we're going to the threshold. Okay, the threshold on the snare I have set at 1. My toms are also set at 1. My kick drum set at four, hi-hats at three, crash cymbal at three, ride cymbal at three. Okay, everything's gonna be a linear curve. Okay, the scan time is gonna be 2.0 on all of the drums and all of your cymbals. Okay, my re-trigger cancel is at one on the snare, one on all of my toms. I've got it set at six on the kick drum, three for the hi-hats, three on the crash, and three on the ride. Okay, the next setting is going to be our crosstalk cancel. I have everything set at 20, and if you get a drum that's causing another drum to falsely trigger, you'll want to increase the crosstalk cancel on the drum that is being falsely triggered. Okay, the next setting is going to be our mask time. I have it set at zero on all of the drums except the kick drum. Kick is set at eight. Everything else, drums and cymbals, I have set at zero. The mask time is also used for false triggering or double triggering. Originally, it's designed to keep the kick drum from double triggering. So if that becomes an issue on one of your drums, you'll increase it from zero to one of the upper settings. Okay, then we have our rim sensitivity. Is it six on the snare? Have it set at 12 on the ride. It's also at 12 on the crash symbol. And then the gain, have it set at 1.4 on the snare and 1.4 on the ride symbol. Now, once you've made all the adjustments to your module, you're just gonna press the drum kit button. It's gonna take you back to your original drum kit and it's gonna save all of those settings. Well, that covers the settings for the TD3. If you have any questions, please join us online on the Pentech Forum. You can access it through Pentech's website, pentechworld.com. Until then, take care, keep drumming.